In today's video, we're going to look at the evidence behind urolithin A and if it actually works for exercise and muscle recovery. Urolithin A is a compound made by our gut bacteria from breaking down certain compounds called elagitannins and elagic acid found in foods such as pomegranates, walnuts, berries and some oak aged wines and spirits. In other words, urolithin A is a postbiotic. Unfortunately, about 60% of people can't actually make urolithin A in their body because they lack certain strains of bacteria in the gut that are required to make urolithin A. The good news is there are some supplements available for those who aren't able to produce it. Urolithin A has beneficial effects on the mitochondria, which are known as the powerhouses of our cells. This is where the energy is produced to allow our cells to function. It improves mitochondrial function by removing damaged mitochondria, allowing new ones to form, thereby allowing for more efficient energy production. It also has anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties in the body. There have been a number of small double-blind placebo-controlled human trials looking at the effects of urolithin A on muscles and exercise endurance. These two studies looked at adults middle-aged and over taking urolithin A for four months compared to the placebo group. Results showed those taking urolithin A had increased muscle strength, improved muscle endurance and exercise performance, and improved biomarkers that indicate improved mitochondrial function. This indicates that urolithin A may be beneficial in slowing down age-related muscle will decline. In a six-minute walk test in elderly patients, those in the urolithin A group were able to walk further than in the placebo group. Now, if we look at this 2024 study on younger male athletes doing bench presses and squats, in those taking urolithin A, there was only a slight increase in maximum lifting strength. However, there was a significant improvement in repetitions to failure. This indicates largely improved muscle endurance. The studies also found there was a reduced breakdown in muscle protein. Early lab studies have found promising effects in longevity, cardiovascular diseases, neurodegenerative diseases such as multiple sclerosis, spine and joint disorders such as osteoarthritis, inflammatory bowel disease, acute kidney injury, metabolic disorders such as obesity and type 2 diabetes, and mood disorders such as depression and anxiety. The dosages range from 500 mg to 1000 mg per day as a once daily dosing. The most effective dose for muscle endurance is 1000 mg per day. Take it 6 to 8 hours before exercise as it takes about this long for urolithin A to reach its peak levels in the body. It can be taken with or without food and it's a good idea to try it for at least a few months to see if it makes any difference for you. Urolithin A is very well tolerated and there have been no significant side effects found. It may possibly cause some stomach upset. There are no known interactions between urolithin A and other medications, but since it is metabolized by the liver, theoretically some medications can affect the effectiveness of urolithin A. The medications that theoretically may affect urolithin A include the following list of medications. Speak to your pharmacist if you are unsure. You can't get urolithin directly from foods, but it can be made from foods rich in elagitannins and elagic acid. These foods include pomegranates, nuts such as walnuts and almonds, berries, and oak-aged wines and spirits. Since some of us can't produce urolithin A, you may prefer to get it in supplement form. Urolithin A is a promising supplement, especially for those who are unable to produce it by their gut bacteria, particularly in those who are older. So that comes to the end of the video on urolithin A. If you found anything useful in this, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye.